Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end of season awards which are being presented today because obviously a lot of the players uh, will make their way off to other parts of the world for various uh, competitions and whatever they're doing over the winter. So important that these uh, six awards uh, get presented uh, as uh, tradition either at the end of the season or at an awards ceremony. Uh, we've got Keith Greenfield, uh, Head of Cricket, to make the first three presentations. And our first award is for the Champagne Moment Performance of the Year. And there can be little doubt about this award, having broken a record which had stood since 1964 for 14 for 135 and in the process taking 200 championship wickets. The Champagne Moment of 2019 for 14 for 135 goes to Ollie Robinson. Our second award goes for the Young Player of the Year who once again has uh, certainly shone out like uh, an absolute star that uh, he's certainly going to prove if not uh, that's the, already the case. Because in one day cricket, uh, a strike rate of 161 in 14 Vitality Blast games scoring 406 at an average of 36.9 earlier on in the season with 335 runs in the Royal London One Day Cup at 40.16 and 603 championship runs in just 10 matches at an average of 33.5. And of course, this winter will again take to the big stage, this time in the Big Bash. Sussex Young Player of the Year is Phil Salt. Next of all is for the Team Man of the Year, uh, and obviously this can have several consequences normally when this is given, various reasons uh, for why this is awarded, but this year uh, it was a standout uh, easy winner because one man played in every single game and of course in that process uh, broke many records including that brilliant 177 in the Royal London One Day Cup surpassing uh, Luke Wright's score which had been scored just a few days earlier. So the Team Man of the Year for 2019 is David Visa. This time Rob Andrews is going to come up and do the honours uh, and make the presentations. Uh, first of all, in the absence of Bob Warren, who can't be with us today, the Chairman's Award will be uh, the next uh, presentation. And uh, that goes to a man that actually finishes, uh, I'm sure not officially with the club today, because I'm sure he'll still be here in many guises, a man that scored something like over 600 games in the last 20 years and of course prior to that had many involvements in the club and as I say a man that uh, with his commitment will no doubt continue uh, to be part of the club somewhere down the line. Uh, for uh, many many years great commitment and the last uh, 20 in the score box of which uh, I've had, I've used the word pleasure, to spend with him. The Chairman's Award for 2019 goes to Mike Charman. First of all, the White Ball One Day Player of the Year. And again, stats this year, absolutely phenomenal for the most consistent of consistent years. 
Uh, first of all, starting in uh, list A, 171 in the championship. Uh, an absolute uh, performer as well, although this award isn't effectively for that. 395 runs in eight matches and an average of 98.75. In the T20, 284 uh, runs in 14 matches, an average of 40.57 and a strike rate of 149. And that, of course, is without his bowling. The one day player of the year for 2019 is David Visa. to awards come unfortunately with an interview but it's uh, been quite a season for you uh, obviously been a part of the setup here for a while but uh, this year surely as you get older you're meant to do less and relax aren't you what's been uh, the case this year i don't know i think you know, get older you get wiser you start to learn your game a bit more and you know sometimes you get lucky and things go away so you know, fortunately for me one or two gambles paid off during the season and yeah the rest is said just turned out well and the batting in particular was uh, absolutely standout, particularly in, this, uh, in the white ball competitions. Uh, that was phenomenal. And obviously you took on uh, a senior role in that, but uh, you certainly must have excelled what you would have hoped to achieve at the start. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's a bit of a good thing for me batting a bit high up in the order, you know, usually just being a bit of a slogger at the end. So, you know, thanks to Dizzy for you know, putting that faith in me to be able to do that job for the team. But yeah, it was just nice to spend time out there in the middle and you know, just take your time and not have to smash it the whole time. And you know, again, like I said, you know, fortunately it just turned out well for me. And just uh, finally, uh, the team that uh, come together, particularly in the Blast, one of the best I've seen uh, covering that competition for 12, 13 years around the country, just desperate not to get over that quarter-final line and coming up against Moe. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, uh, T20 cricket, you know, shorter the format, the more one person can take the game away from you. you know, unfortunately for us, you played a half and half that day and you know you just have to tip your hat and say, you know, well done. But you know, can't take away the, the great performances we put in before that, you know, to finish top of the South Group, which is you know arguably one of the better group out of the two. You know, it's a hell of an effort and you know, you know kudos to the rest of the boys that you know put in big performances and you know every single person stood up throughout the season. So you know, in the end, not the results we wanted, but still a lot of positives. And just finally the future, you'll be back next year for another go? Yeah, if the government doesn't kick me out and you know, things get sorted, then you know, fortunately you know, we've got another year left, yet, and hopefully they don't kick us out and we'll be here for a couple more seasons. It'll be a pleasure to see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, the one-day player of the year, Tony Vincent. And finally we come to the four-day player of the year, the Red Bull uh, Specialist. Uh, and again, not much suspense required, and we've already seen him here once. Uh, on three occasions, taking ten wickets in a match. On six occasions, taking fivers and uh, 63 championship wickets in just 11 games at 16.44. And if he carries on, surely it will be more than just an England Lions place that he's taking. The four-day player of the year for 2019 is Ollie Robinson. <laughs> going through those, they are some stats. You must be pretty proud of what you've achieved this year again. Yeah, it's been another good year for me personally. Um, shame we couldn't get promotion, um, but I'm very pleased to have gone. And that game against Middlesex uh, was something else. I think everyone was uh, resetting their phones that weren't here, checking that the scores were right and the stats were right. Uh, 1964, I think it was. That set uh, some record and will take some beating. You must be very proud of that. Very proud indeed. It's one of those days where you just put the ball in the right area and the batsman nick it or the miss it, get bowled LB. Um, and luckily for me, it was, it was, it was my day, so I'm very happy. And just finally, England Lions, obviously uh, you've played a bit there. Uh, with those stats, uh, your name is going to get branded around for uh, international honours. Obviously not easy set up to get into, although Joffrey this year has uh, played his part and been a big, big factor. Uh, hopes for going higher, I guess you've just got to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, definitely. Um, to try and perform for Sussex um, and hopefully higher runners will come because of that. Good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, our four-day player of the year on the audition.
losers are awards, but uh, just to finish off with uh, a few words from Rob. Thanks, Wooders. Um, bit of a soggy end to the season, sort of probably fitting as the Rugby World Cup just gets oh. underway. Um, <laughs> But we'll, we won't go into that just yet. Um, look, just to finish, I just want to say thank you to everybody um, for everybody's hard work and support during the, the season. I know how demanding the cricket, the cricket season is. Um, I think when everybody reflects back on 2019 as a year of cricket, we've witnessed probably the or one of the most remarkable years of cricket that we'll ever witness. Um, and obviously we've been able to follow uh, Jofra and what he's done the highest level in the World Cup and, and the Ashes. Um, and I think we're all pretty lucky and privileged to be part of what has been a remarkable summer. 2019 will go down in, in history, there's no question of that. Um, for here, I'm really pleased with the summer that we've had. Um, we've, everybody has worked so hard. I don't really want to pick out too many things because there's been so many people, whether it's in the commercial team and the concerts and the, the stewards and the ground staff, um, the community guys out there with the, the, you know, the, the, all the work we do in, in the cricket league, the, the catering team, um, the guys in the performance area, there's been an enormous commitment and I know firsthand how much goes into what is a very demanding long summer, both on and off the field. So it's really just a, a, on behalf of the board and the club a really heartfelt thank you to our members and supporters and Brenda will be first at the gate at 8.30 next year when we get around to, the, uh, to April. Um, but all of your hard work and all of your support and all of your, your passion for this club, is, it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, we've got a very special club here. Uh, as always with sport, you have some highs and you have some lows and that's, that's the nature of the beast. And it just makes you stronger to come back next year and go again. So I just want to say thank you, have a great winter, those guys that are travelling off, players um, and, and staff and supporters. Uh, safe trip to Dizzy um, on Sunday and um, the guys, wherever you end up this winter, uh, have, a, have a wonderful winter um, and we'll be back raring to go again next, next summer. But thank you for 2019, it's been a great summer. Thank you, Rob, and uh, that concludes our ceremony to end the end of season awards. Have a great winter, have a safe winter, and we'll see you all back here in April next year. Thank you, and uh, goodbye.